Welcome back to yet another Zero Takedown Ghost. I'm Grease Scotsman, and it's time to infiltrate the police station. And this series will focus on some side quests and some main quests. We're going to complete the investigation of Megan's murder. And then, of course, the main mission, which is to retrieve a neural hub. So, to start, we go up to the second floor. And I've intentionally not gone into the police station front door yet, because I want the police to be hostile to me in order to make this a little bit more challenging. Although, I realize part of the way through, uh, because I use a silver tongue um, bonus Access on the guy at the front desk, it's, it's pretty easy stuff, so... But they will be hostile to me for this segment. And based on feedback, you'll probably see a lot more dissolves and whatnot as I try to kind of uh, keep the wait time to a minimum. And I've noticed I, I tend to record these things pretty late at night uh, when I'm pretty exhausted. So I have noticed I every now and then forget to replace things like event cover. Now another thing is Obviously, I am not going to show, for example, me breaking into the police locker in order to get the evidence uh, that leads up to this stage where you need to infiltrate the police station. Because uh, I feel like, you know, those don't necessarily involve any stealth skill. Yeah, you're just hacking a, a doorway. So, eh. I wanted to focus on the main gameplay. Access granted. And one thing you'll notice is I try to hack pretty much everything and get my hands on uh, since I am not performing takedowns of any kind then that means that uh, I need every bit of XP I can get. And quite frankly, uh, hacking is a great way to get that. Plus, honestly, uh, I realize, you know, robbing people blind isn't exactly uh, complete stealth. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show that there are lasers up ahead. I need to go back and disable them. I think some people might have just entered the code or hacked this without realizing what they had turned off. So I wanted to make sure to show that since this is a tutorial after all. Access granted. kid. We're talking about some serious fucking crimes. Crimes? What are you talking about, man? My brother's missing and you want to charge him? <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. There are so many different routes into this place, I can't wait for my run where I go guns blazing. Because I'm still going to try to incorporate elements of stealth. I want to try to take rooms by surprise. <clears throat> so... Definitely going to uh, enjoy using that route I just showed when I stormed that room. No one's going to survive. That being said, uh, this, in addition to trying to get every last drop of XP I can, because I there are certain abilities I want to have for later levels. Uh, namely, I want to be able to shut down bots. So, for those that have been wondering what augments I've gotten, obviously I've focused on hacking first. I went for, I think, level 3 or level 4 hack, just right off the bat. Every single point went into that. And then I started to, whoops, I accidentally hit a stop worm there. Didn't mean to, but I um, spent every point into the levels, and then I started to get the uh, detection reduction, because that's really helpful. Uh, simply because I don't want to, you know, have to keep hacking my way into 
I don't want to waste time hacking. So, go ahead and get all that stuff. I pick up all this stuff just so I can sell it. And actually, I should have been a little bit more um, cautious there and picked up weapons. Weapons are worth more than ammo, of course. So, um, if you don't have a certain kind of weapon and you're just looking to grab stuff to sell it, uh, dump some of the ammo and grab a weapon if you don't already carry it. So, put things back the way I found it. Close the doors, turn the cameras back on. And I noticed this camera and I realized I don't know where in this building this is. And so that's why, I, as I said, I, um, I tend to kind of leave stuff open every now and then because I'm I come back through, I didn't include it in this video, but I come back through and I'm just running around this place trying to find all kinds of different uh, areas to get into. Different ways to get into trouble. For some reason I couldn't remember if I opened that drawer or not. So here, radar is pretty handy. Uh, again, I'm going to cut in the video so you guys don't have to wait for guards to path. I'll try to make it relevant as much as I can. And go ahead and check your inventory while you're waiting for this guard to leave. Please, sir, go away. <laughs> All right. And um, now I, I did leave that open again. I'm coming back. So I'm not too worried about it. And here the camera is on. It's not on my radar, so I got a peek. And, uh, gotta be kind of cautious about that. That's what happens when I get bored waiting for a camera. Stretch the old legs or something, I don't know. Alright, finally can go. And so that is the second floor done. And we have a piece of the puzzle. I think, yeah, I think second floor is investigation into the uh, murder. And then I want to say that third floor is a way to get the guy that you confront at the uh, main entrance of the police station. We haven't quite met him yet. Um, again, I, I, I didn't want to enter the police station uh, until I had all that inf info. Anyway, so now we're going to go and find out some information that will uh, essentially loosen his tongue. Uh, he will finally talk to us. So... There are a few points in, I think, on this floor where I'll kind of go down vent paths just because I want to get the Traveler bonus. Again, I'm just searching for every last bit of XP I can get. Although, to be honest, I'm real, not really hurting for, for practice, practice points anymore. I have almost all the abilities that I want. My focus is on mobility. Uh, hacking first and then mobility. And this guy, you just gotta wait for him. He's gonna turn one more time. You gotta be careful. And there you go. I don't think he necessarily would've uh, saw me if I started hacking it, but didn't want to take any chances. So, I did pick up the punch through walls augment, simply because I think there are a couple of um, Praxis Access pickups granted. out there that I think I read on the forums, places I haven't yet been that I can pick up a few. So I figured, you know, if there's at least two, and I think there is, then that's worth it to spend the one Praxis point on punching through walls, because I already have the pick-up heavy objects, so the points are spent. So yeah, lots of hacking in this video. I'm just now kind of realizing as I watch it through. To provide some commentary. Access granted. Yeah, here it is. Here, I think I knocked over the trash can there. Whoops. But I'll come back.
thing back and put it somewhat back in place. Yeah, here we go. Officer Wagner. So even though I don't really use any weapons or anything like that uh, throughout the course of this playthrough, I tend to rob people blind because uh, without it I wouldn't be able to purchase all the uh, Praxis points that you get through the limb clinics. So Access granted. I figure, you know, if you really want to kind of role play it, uh, I suppose if I wanted to leave no trace, I wouldn't rob people, and I would maybe be curious to see how far I can get. But one of the main things is, I know that um, a little bit later in the game, there is a situation where you will be forced into a hostile situation dealing with a couple of bots, unless you can shut them down. So I wanted to make sure that I maxed out my, uh, that particular set of augments. So yeah, that, that guy back there at the other vent, he will hear you no matter what you do. As soon as you open the vent, he will hear it. So, I was kind of curious to where this one went. I hadn't really explored this yet. I was like, ah, oh, where am I? Oh, that's where I am, okay. But as you can see, I mean, if you play the vents here, you can get all this information uh, without really ever exposing yourself to any real threat. Um, for a little bit of fun, I'm probably gonna come back. Oh yeah, I did tip over that trash can. A little bit of fun, I'll probably come back and try a, bit, a little bit more of a frontal assault, if you will. Hello, Mr. Guard, how you doing? To see if I can maybe get into these offices undetected without using the vents as much. I do know that it'd be quite difficult getting into the office that's further down this hallway, though, because there's a camera at the end of the hall. I'm using the radar here to figure out which way he's facing. He's turned away. It's time to go. Close the door behind me. And I'm gone. So, other than uh, people being robbed blind, uh, I figured no one's going to come back here crawling through the fence to see that one's open. So yeah, other than uh, people being robbed blind, pretty much didn't leave a trace. And um, here's a part where I kind of I go back to the second floor to explore some more, and I put everything back in place to satisfy my curiosity. So I just cut it out here. I've gotten some pretty good feedback on the video so far. I want to say thank you to all the people that have uh, been providing comments, both on forums and in YouTube. I'm I'm checking both. Oh, where'd my box go? My box went away. Gentlemen, uh, it's I have a kind of weird. Certain things reset from sometimes. One of your former colleagues, a detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office. I am not your personal dating service. I'd advise you to stay away from the DRB gang if you can. Pretty sure to such a cock. Anyway, time to, uh. Yeah? Give this what do you want? Wagner guy a scare. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And One of the comments was to in a vintage cut the dialogue, so I'm not giving away spoilers, so. Huh? I sort of splice these a little bit. I know you handled the critical evidence linked to the case. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <sighs> Shit, man. So now hopefully listen. these are uh, I know, somewhat informative to someone who's never seen the game. I, I didn't have a choice. Completely lost. Talk. Okay, look. You get a gist of what's going on, morning, but I don't get everything away. There was an email with my new assignment in it. Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Hello? All the media speculation. Don't get me started on that liberal crap. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas, surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. 
I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Not it's a very strangely shaped head. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. Oh, really? Adam, I... Thanks. The door's unlocked. I'll tell the guys to let you through. That's what I thought. Now, uh... I need to be alone for a while. That's right. Go cry in your milk. Cookies. All right, yeah, so Silver Tongue bonus, very uh, handy to get that nice big boost. I haven't really focused on doing that uh, with this character, to be honest. I, uh, you supposed to be here, sir? I kind of like role-playing my responses, so um, we, at least with this playthrough, uh, here I'm robbing people blind. Yeah, uh, this playthrough, I'm trying to be fairly empathetic. Um, fairly understanding. Again, the whole idea is to not disturb anything, so it would make sense that I would be uh, somewhat. Uh, My people have worked tirelessly to find you know, a peaceful solution. Somewhat caring, I imagine. So, yeah, here I am. I'm like, gee, why am I not seeing the quest note? And I realized I had turned it off at one point. I'm like, oh, right, because I'm an idiot. I, that, of course, yeah. That's why it's not showing up on my HUD. Ugh. So, again, robbing everything blind. I'll just skip most of this. And into the morgue we go to complete the main objective, which is to get About this. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull, as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Now, for those, those that have been wondering Boss, about um, accidentally like killing someone... Some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. Uh, no, you need to be very cautious and always check anyone diagnostic. if you're playing a takedown. Any tech to our networks till he's done. Playing any sort of takedown uh, style. You want to so make sure that you're do. checking those Take icons. ZZZ, of course, is knocked out, here. and the skull means you've killed them. So, And I want to get over that desk. Sure, you're in my way. Yeah, not too bad. Got a nuke. So I'm entering this vent entirely for the 100 points for the Traveler, plus at the end of it you get a little tidbit about the story, which I like, that um, it's sort of a confirmation of what you already know. How much you want to bet that story's about to change? So just uh, for the confirmation that, you know, there's some sort of cover-up going on. And we are off. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the police station. Uh, I've gotten everything done that I needed to do. I'm still going to explore, but you never know. There's probably tons of stuff that I missed. And I'll be coming back through without the sil silver tongue. Basically, you don't get through the front door like I did, so these guys aren't friendly to me. And I'll be replaying it, but since that dialogue option fit my character the way I want to play him, I went ahead and let them be friendly. So that's it for the police station, and coming up is, uh, let's see, I guess the DRB in the next segment. Check it out.